The Lord be with you. I'm Deacon Keith Fournier, and our first reading is taken from the first letter of the Apostle Paul to the Corinthians. After all, Christ sent me not to baptize, but to preach the gospel, and not by means of wisdom of language, wise words which would make the cross of Christ pointless. The message of the cross is folly for those who are on the way to ruin, but for those of us who are on the road to salvation, it is the power of God. As scripture says, I am going to destroy the wisdom of the wise and bring to nothing the understanding of any who understand. Where are the philosophers? Where are the experts? And where are the debaters of this age? Do you not see how God has shown up human wisdom as folly? Since in the wisdom of God, the world was unable to recognize God through wisdom, it was God's own pleasure to save believers through the folly of the gospel. While the Jews demand miracles and the Greeks look for wisdom, we are preaching a crucified Christ. To the Jews, an obstacle they cannot get over. To the Gentiles, foolishness. But to those who have been called, whether they are Jews or Greeks, a Christ who is both the power of God and the wisdom of God. God's folly is wiser than human wisdom, and God's weakness is stronger than human strength. And our response is from Psalm 33. Shout for joy, you upright. Praise comes well from the honest. Give thanks to Yahweh on the lyre. Play for him on the ten-string lyre. The word of Yahweh is straightforward. All he does springs from his constancy. He loves uprightness and justice. The faithful love of Yahweh fills the earth. Yahweh thwarts the plans of nations, frustrates the counsels of peoples. But Yahweh's own plan stands firm forever. His heart's counsel from age to age. In a reading from the Holy Gospel according to St. Matthew, Jesus said, Then the kingdom of heaven will be like this. Ten wedding attendants took their lamps and went to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish, and five were sensible. The foolish ones, though they took their lamps, took no oil with them, whereas the sensible ones took flasks of oil, as well as their lamps. The bridegroom was late, and they all grew drowsy and fell asleep. But at midnight there was a cry, Look! The bridegroom, go out and meet him. Then all those wedding attendants woke up and trimmed their lamps. And the foolish ones said to the sensible ones, give us some of your oil, our lamps are going out. But they replied, there may not be enough for us and for you. You had better go to those who sell it and buy some for yourselves. They had gone off to buy it when the bridegroom arrived. Those who were ready went in with him to the wedding hall, and the door was closed. The other attendants arrived later. Lord, Lord, they said, open the door for us. But he replied, in truth I tell you, I do not know you. So stay awake, because you do not know either the day or the hour. The Gospel of the Lord.